Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I want to share this with you. Look at what I got in the mail today, a brick of cards. And it's got something special here. It says Branching Paths. And Branching Paths is an old school Magic the Gathering fan made set. It's made by the Montreal Tundra Wolves from Canada. And um, I, I believe their philosophy is they've got a whole website uh, dedicated to Branching Paths is they wanted to make a set in the spirit of old school. And it's kind of a what if set. What if they would have taken a different direction? And, um, you know, they made a whole set about it. They played tournaments with it. They mixed it with the old school card pool. They also played without the old, old school card pool, I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what? In, in this episode, I just want to dive into branching paths. I mean, I'm assuming it's in here. I don't even, I don't know if it's in here. I didn't expect this. Uh, this was sent to me by her folk. Uh, she's a friend of the channel. She's been on the channel a few times. And she's just a great person and magic player. So, um, you know what, I'm just gonna open up the brick, dive in and, and have a look at these branching path cards with you and kind of talk about this, uh, this new set. Okay, so we're gonna crack it open. Let's have a look. I mean, one of the things I love about old school is that all these initiatives, you know, all these fan-made things that really keep, you know, old school magic going, I feel. Like all over the world, people are doing different stuff. Like we had the Staples tournament not too long ago uh, that was designed by the guys uh, in Hamburg, Germany. Um, you know, you've got, there's just so many things going on. You've got X-Points, of course, that has been around for a while. Oh, look at this. Yeah, baby. <laughs> wow. These are bricks of cards, I believe. Um, Look at that, this is a brick. This is a brick. So what I really love about this, and uh, just her folk, thank you so much for sending this out because now I can play this out here in Amsterdam with my friends. We've got a pretty nice community here. Um, the, the, the Soul Canar Swamp Kings, the Amsterdam Kings. And um, you know, I can, I, can, I can organize a day where we're gonna play this. There's also a special card in here, let's have a look. So this one says Rampage's Lair to, it's a legendary land, to tap to give target blocked creature plus two plus oh for each creature blocking it can only be done for the duration of the current attack exchange. Wow. So this is the card. Obviously, th these are just all proxies, right? They're not official Magic the Gathering cards, but just really cool. And I'll put a link to the uh, the website there. So exactly not for sale. This is not a commercial project. This is a fun project. This is made out of a love for the game. I mean, they've got lore attached to this set as well. It's like a really big project. Really, really awesome. So I'm just gonna, gonna put this here. I think I'm just gonna open one of the bricks to kind of go through the cards with you guys. I'm gonna leave these closed. I mean, this is so awesome. This is truly, this is truly sweet. Um, okay, I gotta be a little bit careful. Don't wanna damage the cards, obviously. Doesn't happen often as an old school player that you get to see new cards. So it's kind of exciting. Okay. There we go. So, you know, I'll just, I'll just go through a couple, discuss them with you. So this is River Nymph, a summon nymph, a one, two creature for two blue and one. It says tap the River Nymph to remove target tap creature from the game. River Nymph is also removed from the game as you activate this ability. That's pretty sweet. So you can just take out a creature, remove it from the game. So exiled, I guess. Ooh, Lawless Mercenary. Look at that art. That is so cool. Oh, ho. That reminds me, oh, what's his name again? Homelands guy, 5-2 with haste. Super cool guy. Let's see what he does. A 2-1 for only one red. It's so kind of a Savannah line. You must pay one red during your upkeep or Lawless Mercenary deals one damage to you. Ooh. We've got Bad Omen, which is a sorcery card, one black and one. Draw three cards from your library. At the end of your turn, you must discard your hand to your graveyard. Okay, so that's, this is a cool card. This is a really good card. Wow, Bad Omen. It's like an Ancestral Recall for Black. Pretty cool. Crimson Scrolls, three to cast Mono Artifact. 
Pay two, you may draw one extra card. Can only be used if you lost two or more life this turn. Oh, I love these cards because they kind of invite you, um, you know, to kind of build around the, the card. Like how can you lose two life every single turn so you can draw that extra card? Maybe put some life gain in there as well. Really nice. Deepwood Fae, a fairy, flying. Whenever a creature is put into play, you may gain a life. Okay, there we go. So we've got some life gain here. Heroic Eradication, destroys target creature with toughness of at least four. Merkland Cutthroat, first strike. Merkland Cutthroat gets a plus one plus one counter each time a creature dies during a turn in which Cutthroat damaged it unless the dead creature is regenerated. Okay. So it's got first strike. If you, if you combine this with Bad Moon or with Unholy Strength, kind of make it big, it can be a real problem for your opponent. Maybe use a Nettling Imp to force him to attack or a lure on it if it's big enough. It's pretty cool. Old Cove Seer, one blue and one. A summon Seer, one, two. A lot of one, two creatures in here. One blue, tap Old Cove Seer to take a card from target player's graveyard and put it on top of that player's library. Old Cove Seer is also discarded by using this ability. Okay, that's pretty good because you can take any card. You can also, of course, you can use it for yourself, but you can also use it to kind of slow down your opponent, almost use it like a time walk. Like if he, if he needs lands, for example, you're just gonna give him a big spell from his graveyard, put it on top, you know that he's not gonna be able to cast it. So then you kind of postpone, you make sure that your opponent cannot do anything, right? That's what I'm trying to say, so you get kind of an extra turn. Ooh, a land, I like these. Very cool. Scape shift scary, legendary land, tap to change target land to any basic land type of your choice until end of turn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It needed a moment for me to think about this, but this is pretty good. So you could have two libraries of Alexandria with this. That's pretty scary. Um, okay, we've got Reconcile, a sorcery, one white and one. Look at that art. This is a dwarf, I think. I like it. A sorcery, discard two of your lands, creatures, artifacts, or enchantments in play. Then opponent must do the same. Cards discarded by opponent must be of the same type as the ones you discarded. This is really cool. Because it's or. You cannot do all of them, so you got to choose. So two of your lands or two creatures or two artifacts. So you can kind of make a decision there. So you can basically change. If, you, if your creatures are worse than your opponent, you can use this. If your lands are worse, if your opponent's got like a really good land in play, you can force them maybe to destroy it with this. Pretty cool. Hey, a ferret. Yay, a ferret. Remember, Homelands, I think, is the only set with a ferret in it. So it's good to see a ferret. This is a restless ferret for one green. Cannot be used to block any creature of power more than one. I think in green, that doesn't matter. This is really good in green. Having a 2-1 creature is really good. Warden of Silence. Tap the Warden to destroy target enchantment. Warden of Silence is also destroyed this way. So they have a lot of cards where you kind of use them and then the creature also goes away. Hey, a clerk. We've got another clerk. Of course, we all know the uh, the preacher in uh, white. Two uh, red and one for a 1-1. One, one. Tap to gain control of a creature with power no greater than two. You can tap target creature this turn. If it was already tapped, you can also untap it. Return to former controller at the end of turn. This is so interesting. So you can take it, you can untap it. So if there's like a royal, you can steal it, untap it, and use it on a creature of the opponent. That's pretty strong. Quackmire Howler. And the art is pretty sweet as well. It doesn't give a credit here to the artist, but I'm sure it's all fan made. So I guess they made the art themselves. I just need to read a little bit more about this project. So they have their own website. So I'll put a website, uh, the link to that website in the description below if you want to know more about the project. And I think there are also contact details where you can kind of you know, get in touch with them. I think I'm now just gonna go, let's quickly go through the cards a little bit, kind of show you the art. I have to say, I'm really liking the art. I'm liking the fact that a lot of these creatures, oh, this is cool, a flying 2-7 <laughs> for six. A summon oddity. Look at that art, that's funny. What I like is that a lot of these cards, these creature cards have like an extra effect when they come into play, making it a little bit more balanced, right? Because the problem in old school, it's not really a problem, but a thing about old school, I should say, is that the spells are really strong and the creatures are not as strong. I think Arabian Nights is probably the only set 
where they kind of had that balance right between spells and, and creatures. Um, so it's really nice to see that there are a lot of like cards here that have an effect. A lot of creature cards, I mean. So here we've got uh, Primal Force Druid, one green into a 2-2. Two -two. Does one damage to any opponent casting an instant. I will. This is good. This is actually what green needs. A little bit of that direct damage in there. Shri Shrickling Shrine. Whenever a creature artifact is placed into an opponent's graveyard from play, the shrine deals one damage to its controller. Wow. That is a good card. If you've got to combine this with Shatterstorm, oh, that's a problem for your opponent. Wolfkin. I'm sure you guys put a lot of wolves in there, right? I mean, look at the back of these cards. Really cool. What a cool project. Look at this art. Seven teaching adapts. One blue summon shaman. Each player draws an extra card each turn during his or her draw phase. Wait a minute. This is a howling mine in a creature form. That is so cool. Wow. If you can find a way to maybe flash this out at the end step of your opponent so you get like the bonus from it. Wow. What a cool card. Um, a river serpent, a pilgrim stone, a meat catapult, a meat catapult. <laughs> so funny. Oh, this is like the, the catapult you have in Ice Age as well. I forgot the name where you can also sack a creature and deal some damage. A war horse. Oh, yeah. An incubus leech. Forest owl. Deodin tome. Tap two creatures to draw one card. What I like so far as well, look, kind of looking at these first cards from these set, is that there's a lot of card draw abilities in there as well, which is kind of nice because it, it, it keeps the whole game going, right? If you compare like new magic with old magic, one of the things that you notice is it's really hard to get card advantage in old school magic, which is, I kind of like, you know, um, but it's nice to see with this, just a lot of card drawing going on, which is fun. It's fun to draw cards. So it's nice to see. Uh, destroy target creature does not affect artifact creatures. Okay. Four manas, but you, you can also destroy a black creature with this. That's pretty good. More wolves, deep den wolves, folklore of future past. That's, that name is so cool. Folklore of Future Past. Instant shuffle target artifact in play back into its owner's library. Okay. Lessons of War. Mistwalker. Uh, the Scum Queen. What a name. The Uncast. Warlord's Orders. Shambling Brute. Crow Whisperer. Keeping Watch. Skin walking, an enchant creature. Wow, that's a lot of tech. Let's see what it is. Tap for enchanted creature to acquire all normal characteristics of any one creature in play on either side. Any enchantments on the original creature are not copied. Enchanted creature may continue to copy a creature even after that creature leaves play. But if it switches, it won't be able to switch back. Okay, so this is kind of a Vesuvian double ganger effect. You can enchant on a creature, right? That is so, that is so funny. That is so funny. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I just actually don't wanna spoil all the cards here. I don't even know if this is the full, if this is the full set, one of these breaks, but I have to say, I'm really, really liking this. I'm gonna take my time to go through these cards. Here you can see a few more. Ah, oh, they're just it's so cool. I like the style. I even like the smell. It's not the same, of course, that, that you know the old card smell but it's 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 really cool it's so well made there's so much there's so much love in these projects i really really like it uh, like i said i'll put a link up to their websites if you want to know more about the project maybe get the cards yourself you can check it out there i'm sure there's a way to reach out to them um i just want to thank you her folk for sending these cards to me i'm definitely gonna gonna play with them um if you want to see these cards on the channel um, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do that. It's going to be pretty tough because I'll need to explain, of course, what every card does. Um, but I guess I, I, I could maybe do it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make, uh, to make a match. That would be quite sweet. Um, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, if you enjoy the content that I make, please leave a like, share this on your socials. Uh, and leave a comment, of course. All these things are free and really help the channel move forward. And, um, you know, you can also support me, of course, by becoming a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks. And uh, I think I'm just now going to continue browsing through these beautiful cards. And uh, 
just going to build a deck with it. I mean, this this looks like amazing fun. Anyway, have a great uh, have a great afternoon. See you guys later. This is pretty sweet. Melting point. Okay. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomaar gezien.